So in this video, I'll show you how to download and install ExpressVPN. Now, if you're trying to find the application um, and you just type in download ExpressVPN, this will take you to a page like this and you might click on this link thinking you're going to get the ExpressVPN app. But what it's going to do is take you to the ExpressVPN order page. So if, if you don't have ExpressVPN, this would be great. It's the first step to do. Um, I'll also put a link in the description, um, which will include any additional discounts I can get for you guys from Express that aren't available on their website to save you as much money as possible. So feel free to check that out. But what you'll want to do uh, if you just want to get the application to download is you'll want to use this sign in link here, which I will put in the um, description below as well. So it'll take you right to this page. Now from here, you're going to use the email and password that you used to um, purchase ExpressVPN with. So I'm going to go ahead and paste these both into here. And then you'll go ahead and click the sign in link. And then it'll either take you to this page, but if you haven't signed in yet, it will probably take you to a page that will require you to get emailed or sent a um, activation code. And then you'll paste that code and then it will take you into this page. Uh, so then from here, you're just basically going to click the download. Um, in my case, I'm on a Mac, so it knows that and it's, it's giving me the download for Mac link. So I'm going to go ahead and click that and it's downloading it. It's also um, giving the activation code here again. Um, and then uh, in my downloads, we can see it showed up here. So I'm just gonna double click on that. Uh, if you're on PC, you know, same, same idea. Okay, so here um, the, it's asking if I wanna run this um, program and I'm gonna say yes, allow. And uh, I'll say yes, allow. And now it's taking me through the installation here. I'm just gonna click continue. Um, it's saying it's gonna, where it's gonna install it. This is great. If you wanna change location, you can. Um, I think for most people, you'll just wanna leave it uh, as I do. So I'm gonna click install. And then if you have uh, a password, you're gonna to need to put that in there. Um, I will take care of that. And then we're gonna click install software. Okay, so now it's starting to install ExpressVPN. And as soon as it's ready, I'll go ahead and open it so you can see how that works. Okay, so installation was successful. So we're gonna click close. And it says, do you wanna move the installer to the trash? Yes, we wanna move that to the trash. Okay, now I'm gonna go and you can search for it. Um, oh, actually it's went ahead and loaded for us right here. Uh, so as far as notifications, I don't like these notifications myself, so I say don't allow. But if you want to allow notifications, you certainly can. Um, and then that way you'll get those little banners up here. You can always change it later if you want. Okay, so here I'm gonna go ahead and click sign in. If you hadn't bought a, uh, bought a subscription already, um, there's an opportunity to do that. Okay, here's where we're going to, I'm gonna move this over here. Uh, we're gonna paste the activation link, uh, which is available on this page here. If you just click, it'll actually copy it onto the clipboard. And so now I'm just gonna go ahead and paste that into here and click sign in. Okay, and now it'll say, set up your VPN. Uh, your Mac will ask permission to complete the configuration. ExpressVPN will not filter or monitor your network activity. So we can go ahead and click continue. And then we see this notification here. And I'm gonna say allow uh, launch on startup. Automatically launch ExpressVPN when your Mac starts. This depends on how you want to use ExpressVPN. Do you always want it on and active? Do you want to have to manually launch ExpressVPN or do you want it to always automatically start up? Um, I'm gonna put no thanks, but if you always want it to launch on startup, then you can select okay. And again, this is something you can always change later if you like. I'm also gonna say no thanks to sharing um, information with Express about speed and crash reports and things like that. Okay, and that's all there is to it. We've just uh, downloaded Express, we've installed it, now we're ready to connect. Um, connecting is as simple as actually pressing this button here. <laughs> and so now we're connected. 
you saw how fast that was. And that's one of the great things about Express. Express is my favorite VPN to use um, because of the performance, the, the speed, and, and the usability. It's just so easy to use. Um, I love how the, um, the interface here is very uh, compact, kind of almost like a minimalist kind of design, but it's very intuitive. And it, again, it's so easy. Out of all the VPNs, I find it very problem-free compared to the rest, um, even Nordensurf. There, those are a couple others that I really like using, but you know, if someone said, Lance, you can only use one VPN, which one would you use? You know, uh, I really like using Express. And so um, anyway, again, I'll put a link down in the description if you just want to know where to download the application. And then if you don't have Express VPN yet, um, I'll put a link where you can sign up and get an additional discount. Again, I'll get you the best one I can from Express that's not available on their website. So you can save as much money as possible. Uh, but otherwise, thanks so much for your time. Hope this was helpful for you. And I'll see you guys in the next video.